Hello my Yolmanis. Today I decided to hop onto the never-ending trend and make a video about my unpopular K-pop opinions. Some of you guys may be offended by my opinions but a disclaimer, this is no way trying to bash any of the K-pop groups, idols or companies mentioned in the video. And also remember that this is all just my opinion and you have every right to disagree with me. Feel free to tell me your opinions in the comments, let's get started. Many K-pop fans think that Twice was done dirty and Fancy should have one song of the year for 2019. No doubt it's an iconic song, but I think that BTS deserved their win. I personally don't think that Boy With Love is their worst title track, in fact it's one of my favorite ones out of their most recent releases. BTS really suited this new, fresh, poppy style and the song just gets you in a good mood. Additionally I think all the members got a chance to shine in this song. Boy with love snapped and you can't change my mind. Wacky Mecky may not have the best producers coming from a smaller company, but there's just something about their songs that captivates me every time. Most of their title tracks are really catchy and addictive in some way, and there's a really good build up to the chorus. And I'm absolutely in love with their dances like this one. I've seen some comments saying that their songs are really annoying, but honestly I don't think so at all. Wacky Mecky isn't the group that I stan, but I hope that I can in the future. And their company really needs to time their comebacks properly. I don't know if this is much of an unpopular opinion, but I've seen many K-pop fans saying that Secret Story of the Swan was so much better than Fiesta, so I'll just count it as one. I can understand that many people are not huge fans of the scratchy-sounding tape in the chorus of Fiesta similar to the one in Violetta, but I don't really have a problem with it. I just found Secret Story of the Swan a bit boring, and I have tried listening to it a few times, but my opinion remains unchanged. I would have to say that the dance is really nice though. Fiesta isn't my favorite title track either but I think it's a nice, upbeat song to listen to. I am not a huge fan of God 7 songs but I really loved Girls Girls Girls. Yes, the lyrics were super quirky and the music video was really blinding but I just find this song so interesting. It's one of the most iconic K-pop debuts in my opinion. I can't exactly pinpoint what I love so much about this song, but I guess you can say that I like it because it's different in a good way. Ina is the queen of bridges period. I don't think that she has the best vocal range or skills in twice but I have been digging her tone lately and it's just so soothing and pleasant to listen to. If I went mental and they played me Mina's voice in therapy I think I'll recover really fast. I don't think that she's main vocal material, because she doesn't have a powerful voice and does falsetto often but I just love her vocal tone and color so much. I genuinely hope that G-Idol doesn't flop because they are a really talented group of girls and deserve the best. I just think that the recent comebacks have been disappointing and very safe in a way and I hope that they can try new styles soon. I also feel like their dances are very focused on the backup dances which may pose as a problem in the long run. Sometimes I feel that the songs and music videos are very biased towards certain members but I won't be going into detail about that. I just feel that right now their discography is going downhill which I know has caused some people to leave the fandom 